Today is all about holiday yumminess. And all these goodies will spread lots of cheer. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got you covered from start to finish for all of your holiday treat needs. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And a yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I love oh, it. I Look know. at us. We're totally in our holiday ho, year. Ho, ho. <laughs> so I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Oh, thanks. Yay. <laughs> so you guys, we're going to make some amazing, amazing stuff. So, All of them. Perfect for a party. Perfect. So let's get started. Let's go to recipe number one. Classic cheese ball. This appetizer has been spreading smiles for generations. And for good reason. It is delicious. <laughs> it is so it is good. So, good. so uh, let's do it. Let's and, do and it. It's super easy. And it's all about cheese. I know. So <laughs> I, how can you go wrong? We have been making this. I, this is one of the first uh, recipes we've ever did on the blog. And it's been a hit ever since. It's so retro. It's it is so, so retro, retro. And it's so good. So that's <laughs> eight ounces of softened, that's room temperature cream cheese. Make sure it's room temperature. That helps a lot. Mm -hmm. This is a tablespoon, a tablespoon, a um, cup. cup. I, I can't even talk. I'm so excited about these this cheese. That's a cup of shredded Swiss cheese. Ooh, That's a cup a of cheddar. shredded cheddar. Cheddar makes everything better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. And here's two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Yummy. Oh. And then we've got two tablespoons of chopped chives. Adds a lovely depth of flavor. Yes, but, it does. Here, get them all in there. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Right. And then I've got just a little bit of seasoning. I've got a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Love it. And then a teaspoon of garlic powder. This is so easy. Now, I'm doing, I'm bringing this all together in my stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, don't worry. I, you can do, just do it with a wooden spoon. It will eventually come together. I think I'm going to have the hardest part. Not eating it? No. <laughs> trying to get this in a ball. No, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. <laughs> Maybe I should have put on some gloves. Well, you can if you want to. No, it's. Um, let's get dirty. Let's get dirty. It's it's. It's the holidays. We, I have a feeling we're going to be saying that a lot over the coming weeks. It's the holidays. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to take this off. Yeah, it's a little messy, but All that's right. okay. Bring it on over here. Let me just scoop it out onto scoop my... Scoop it on out. Ooh, okay, okay. It's going to be go. fun. You're going to love it. My hands are clean, everybody. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. That is some cheese. That is All some right. cheese. Now we're gonna, it, it's gonna end up in the fridge so it will firm up. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Ooh, Chris. Yeah, this is, okay, I'm gonna get both You're hands good. in there. You're good, you got it, you got it. I know, I just, oh, yes. Yeah. My, and so you, so I'm we, gonna lift it up. Yeah, and get a piece of parchment paper. There's no eggs, there's nothing in there, so if your hands get a little dirty, that's okay. You're not gonna be contaminating anything. Now, I have got some chopped- Make sure everybody can see up top. Some there, chopped yeah. pecans here. Yep. Um, I use my food processor to chop these, but if you don't have a food processor, just get a, a knife or a rolling pin or a wine bottle and just smash it. Or, um, <laughs> How's this? How's my sphere? It's my a, sphere of cheese. It's a, <laughs> that, you've got a beautiful <laughs> sphere of cheese. Okay, here we go. That's your, oh, your new right. name. All Isn't right. that beautiful? That's gorgeous. Okay, and then you just roll around. <gasps> I remember, I remember we've here, been making this for some... Let me get this out of the way so people for, can see it. All for right. so many years, and this used to be Wesley's. Uh, Wesley has been, uh, uh, you've been watching us for a while. You've noticed that Wesley has gotten very good in the kitchen. And um, when well, we first started doing this you. little thing called How to Feed a Loon, this was about the extent of his uh, <laughs> kitchen, <laughs> his cooking abilities. <laughs> to, so that was what to he- To make a ball of cheese. <laughs> no, it wasn't even that. It was just rolling in the oh. nuts. <laughs> but you did it really good. Totally. Okay, so now isn't that beautiful? Look That's at that. Cool. That's, that's your classic cheese ball right there. Yes, that's so now awesome. we're just going to put it on. Here, I'll oh, yeah. grab it. Here, you grab that plate. I'm we're all gonna, cheesy. Yeah, you're, you're so cheesy. <laughs> so we're just going to put this on the, on a plate. You could serve it like this. It would be yummy. But I think it, you need a little time to let those flavors meld. Plus, you want it to firm up a little bit. So we're going to stick it in the fridge for at least an hour. And okay. you're going to wash your hands. <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? That's it just, gorgeous. It just screams like holiday party. I love it. Let me add it. Let okay, you, okay, it. you go. You go in for it. <laughs> oh, let's make everybody look like, oh, that looks delicious. Here we go, people. <gasps> look at that. Oh. Just it's it. just, look how beautiful it is. Oh, you guys. Um, can we all see that over here, too? <laughs> oh. Serve it with whatever right, you Chris, like. Chris, make yourself one I'm real going quick. To. I'm going to put mine on. A, oh, you, I thought you'd. You usually like I do celery. like a celery. Celery. But I, I love, we just got some good old butter crackers here. Any kind of vegetables you can serve with this. You guys know what to serve with a cheese ball. Look at that. That looks so good. Oh. Smell. Oh, Wesley. <laughs> 
Well, Hold on. <laughs> and he's not even it's, had any eggnog it's yet. It's not a party until someone's throwing food. <laughs> what did you do? How did that I even just happen? Picked it, I didn't spread it on time. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Woo, on that right, note. Here we go. <laughs> classic. The flavors are there. Wow, that is so good. I love the pecan. Mmm. And the three cheeses. Oh, and the garlic and the oh. oh paprika. Um. Yum, yum, yum. Wow, that is delicious. That is one hundred thousand percent. Luna Probe! Yes! Oh, so good. Okay, on to recipe number two. Naughty and nice spiced nuts. These are the quintessential holiday treat. A little sweet, a little heat, and a whole lot of good. Trust <laughs> us, when you serve these, your guests are gonna go nuts. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say I just, that. Well, I mean, I... I'm nuts for these nuts. They're that good. They're so good. They're good. All right, let's get going. So we've got a medley of nuts here. Yes. <laughs> kind of like you, you've said that about us. Um, okay, I've got a cup of, these are dry roasted cashews. Now, something that you're going to want to remember, and I need to let you know this too, that some, if you're going to get, these are not salted. That's a key point. All so right, we're going to add, yeah. some, if you get them that's already salted, we're going to add salt to that. Yes. Um, but anyway, I'm talking all over the place. I, that was cashews. That was a cup of whole almonds. And that was um, some pecan, pecan halves, a cup of that. And then this is a cup of uh, dry roasted peanuts. Again, they're not salted. If they're already salted, then you need to limit your amount of salt that you're putting into right. this texture right. right here. So let me get you a tablespoon. I got the do, salt. You got the salt. Okay, so now I've got Keep two right egg whites in a yep. large bowl, and I've got my whisk here, and I'm just going to start whisking my troubles away until it gets nice and frothy. Okay, while he froths up those egg yolks, I'm going to get the, the egg whites. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get this, the dry mixture together. Gosh, can't talk. All right, I've got a, a cup of sugar, yes. granulated sugar. A tablespoon of cayenne pepper. So there's your heat. Now, yes. it's, again, this is, these are not exceedingly hot, but you, they get a little bit of spice. A tablespoon of cinnamon. Sweet. Love it. And then some pumpkin pie spice. Yum. This is a teaspoon. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And then we're going to, like Chris said, we're going to salt these up because those nuts are not salted. Yeah. Those are not salted nuts. No, they're not. And so we're going to put a tablespoon of salt in there. And I'm going to mix this all together while Chris froths up his eggs. Yeah. And these are getting, you see how that's getting nice and frothy and bubbly? Um, so that's that's good. So yes. now uh, I'm going to start just you throw those folding in. these in to my frothy egg go. whites. Do we do these at the same time? A little of that, a little of this? Or no. Do you do those all We're going to get these fully coated with that, so then that mixture will adhere Got to it. the nuts. And I'm getting these good and mixed, mixed and combined. That's good. So that's a really important though point to remember about the salt, um, because you don't want these to be overly salty. and. Um, I, you know, I, I like nuts to be salty, but you don't want them to be over salty. Right. So. And get this really mixed up because I don't know if you want a pocket of cayenne in one of your nuts. <laughs> yeah, it'll wake you up. On one of your nuts. No. I, know, I love it. All right, here we go. I think this is good. You ready? Okay, All go. Right. So we're going to get this. We're going to do this yeah. a little at a time. Or yeah, you, you just, just keep of, on going. Just keep on going. We're just right. folding it in. It's like it's snowing. I know. This is going to make me sneeze, though. <laughs> I know. It does, it does make you sneeze. <laughs> there it's, we go. Oh, there. I know. Yeah. You got it? I got it. Oh, here it goes, Chris. I'm, I'm not going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze, y'all. Yeah, please don't. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to sneeze? No, I'm not going to sneeze. <laughs> I think if you look at the light, <laughs> no, I think if you look at a light, that makes oh, you sneeze. Oh, gosh. All right. Okay, so we're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes are watering. Here, <laughs> Here you do it. I'm, I'm gonna just do it. dumping it all in there. Okay. Okay, sorry. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, but never a dull moment. Okay, so now we've got a big baking sheet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to slightly spray it. Say it, not Say it, spray. don't spray it. There okay, go. beautiful. Just a bit. These are so good, and I'm telling you, people eat them and because the, the heat does kind of come in the back, and they're like, oh, hello, delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's so good, though. Yeah. And they're very addictive. They really are. 
There we go. Look at that. Okay. Come on. Beautiful. Be now let's just spread them out a little bit. I've got my um, oven preheated to just just to 250 degrees. So we're gonna basically just slow roast these babies. Wow. And let yes. them just really soak in all of that deliciousness, um, those those seasonings. Um, for they're gonna roast for an hour. And how simple is this? It's so simple. How so, simple for these simple. naughty and nice nuts. <laughs> Are you nuts? <laughs> so we're gonna put them in for an hour. After 30 minutes, we're just gonna get our spatula and kind of scooch it around, and then they're done. All right. Watch out, Flo. Speaking of nuts, watch out. Flow. Oh, the smell is so good. <laughs> oh, naughty and nice nuts. So look naughty at that. and so nice. Oh, look at those. Don't those look great? Oh my gosh. You want to keep one of those on to hold on to. There yeah, I know. Go. Now we're just going to kind of oh. stir these to break. They're, they may want to have stuck together a little bit, which is normal. Uh, so we're just going to kind of break them up a little bit. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I want to pop these in my mouth right I know, now. they'd be hot. But um, so anyway, the, these you can, they're delicious, of course. If you've ever been to New York City and you had warm nuts from like the oh, vendors yes, on the street, yes. that's great. So you can serve these warm, but you need to let them cool for somewhat, I would say at least 15 minutes or let them cool completely. Or until the loon can't, his mouth doesn't burn. Right, which is usually... <laughs> About 15 minutes. So anyway, all right, we're gonna let these cool briefly and then the loon's gonna see if he can eat them. <laughs> oh, isn't this That's cute? That's cute in all the right. old tan Yeah, we let, we let them cool and um, so now we're gonna do the big reveal. Oh, how adorable, so I that, love that tan. It's, I know, Th these also make a fantastic gift too. All right, I, I gotta go yeah, around. Go, oh, go look with, at those. I My know. favorite, I'm gonna take a couple of these. The cashews. My favorite yeah. is the cashews. I know, I love mm. them too. I love them all, but I, I, I'm kind of partial to the cashews too. <laughs> I like the peanuts, and I like the. I like them. I like the yeah, I do too. All right, let's ah, go. Right. I'm nuts for them. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Beat you up. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm -mm. Those are. Oh, there's it. The, there was the sweet, and now I got a little of the heat. She kind of comes in and goes, "Hello." Yeah. Not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? And, uh, I, now I want to put them in a little bag, like you're walking oh, around New York City and see the, the snowfall Rockefeller Center. And, oh, all this right. This is so good. Those are amazing. Those mm. are 100,000% Luna proof. Yes! <laughs> now, on to recipe number three, Christmas Christinis. These bite-sized hors d'oeuvres are perfect for serving during the holidays. Toasty crostinis, a savory white bean puree, sauteed spinach topped with roasted bell pepper. Oh, they are so scrumptious and so Christmassy. They are so I Christmassy. love it. All the, the colors. Beautiful it's colors beautiful. of Christmas and they are, like you kind said. Kind of like us. Yes, <laughs> and scrumptious, just like us. So, okay, so let's get jump into this. Yeah. I have got a nice large skillet here. Why don't you get doing what oh, you're yeah, so I've got the, the Christine. bread for the crostini. Uh, I just took a uh, French baguette, sliced it into these little slices. Like and now, quarter inch slices. Quarter yeah. inch slices. And then I'm going to just brush them with just a little oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. While, just, while you're doing that. I did all of them. I just saved some for you all to see what I'm doing. I've got a quarter cup of olive oil over here that I've heated over medium heat. And I've got four cloves of garlic that I'm gonna to toss in here and just uh, cook until they get start to get a little golden. And speaking of garlic, I've got a little garlic knob here, a garlic knob, <laughs> a garlic clove that I'm just gonna rub on this just to infuse a little of that garlic taste. So we just took a clove and cut it in half and then used that. Didn't yeah. give it an intense garlic, but it just, it just clove right gives there. it a little flavor, yeah. Mm, yeah. So good. And then I'm gonna add a little salt to each one of these. Building the flavor yes. layers. And now I'm just going to stick these under the broiler for a few minutes to get them nice and toasty. So make sure you watch them. We put ours, we are the, it's like the second rung for the rack, which makes it about four inches below the heating element. But make sure you keep an watch eye out. Watch them. Everybody's broiler is a little bit different. <laughs> Everybody's we don't wanna, burned their crostini yeah, too. They're, <laughs> They're like snowflakes. Everyone's a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, how's it doing that? Oh, how's that going? It was fabulous. It All smells right. wonderful. So now we're getting ready for that wonderful white I, I call Christmas. it like a white bean paste. Oh. Why Christmas? <laughs> yeah. right. So I've got a 15 ounce white beans. Any white bean will do. Yes. That we've drained. Then I have a teaspoon or tablespoon of two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Close. That was so close. <laughs> of fresh thyme. 
that we've chopped. That if you're, you're going to go with dried, then just use a teaspoon. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to use the, the the juice from the juice from a half a lemon. Oh, okay, that's that a gives it a bright hard one. Yeah. Well, it's the winter time, and they're not as juicy. Yeah, right. And then I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of salt, and then some pepper too. Let's see. How's that coming along? It's Is coming it along toasty? Beautifully. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Right. We don't want to overdo them. We don't want to burn them. Let's just check these right here real yeah, quick. Let's check them. Looking Ooh, good. those are coming along. Those are good. So, all right. So, what I'm going to do? Two seconds more. I'm going to take um, just. I'm, this is not real technical, but we're, I'm going to take about two tablespoons of this oil with the garlic and put it in there, and then I'm going to leave the rest for our spinach. So yes. we're gonna we are building the flavor all over the place. And you get those crostinis going after you get the, get those okay. crostinis out once I you will. get that uh, spinach out there. Okay, right. I will. All right. I, 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 sorry, I, I, I sorry. Well, hold on. I'm gonna check. Yep. Oh no, we got to get those out now. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do that right this very second. <laughs> Here I got this. Okay. Oh yeah, those are good. Yeah, those are almost too good. Yeah. All right. Nice and crust, cr uh, crunchy. Crunchy. All right, so you do that. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these over here, Chris. Yeah. And I'm gonna make the paste, the white bean paste. <laughs> it's a puree. Oh. <laughs> oh wow, y'all. I love that. It's so. Oh, that's a, it's almost like a hummus. It is. It's the same texture. It's a good. That's a good analogy there. You made. All right, hold on. Here, let's check it out. Oh, oh y'all. That looks so good. So this was, I should say, this was eight ounces of fresh spinach that I put in here. Oh, I used show the real quick. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. Look at that. I love that. Mm. Now I'm a little taste test. No, I'm no, not. Don't do it. that. Yeah, <laughs> but you should do that. But don't put you know put a clean spoon back in there just to taste the salt level. Sometimes if you want a little more salt, um, you could add a little bit more. But we think a half a teaspoon is just perfect. All right. So. Finish those. Anyway, this was eight ounces of mature spinach that I uh, took the stems off, um, but you could use baby spinach if you wanted to. If you really, really are in a crunch of time and you wanted to use frozen, you could. Just make sure it's completely thawed and um, drained of any liquid. Okay, this is almost done, and then we're going to build them. Yay! Okay, Yay. it's time to assemble. So let me just say the brilliant thing about this, besides it being delicious and so Christmas yes. is that all of this could, well, all of this can be made in advance. These can be served room temperature. They're delicious. Yeah. If you want to heat your spinach up again, you could do that. That's fine. Uh, if you want to have these freshly made so they're kind of warm, that's okay too. But th that's great for entertaining because you, you can get all this out of the way early and then assemble, you know, before your guests arrive. Yeah, so, that's okay. what we're going to do right now. Okay, let's assemble. So this, I'm going to start off with uh, the navy or the white bean. Puree, just put a nice healthy dose on that real quick. There, there okay, we go. There go. Nice. Yum. And then I'm going to put, we got clean hands. I'm going to just put a little helping of the sauteed spinach. How and exciting. then we're going to take one of these. We just do one strip. We cut, I, this is, it. this was bottled uh, red bell pepper that we just took out of the bottle and drained it and then cut it into little strips. Look like at that. that. Isn't that beautiful? That's, that's so Christmas day. So Christmas day. All right, let's do the rest All of right, it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I know. Is that not a platter? That of is just, gorgeous. It is. It is so festive, and, so, and you can decorate <laughs> it with a little holly. You can do it, but it just I mean, these by themselves are stunning. This I should tell you, you can get up to like around eight. It just depends on how stacked you make these, but you can usually get around eighteen crostini. Yeah, uh, this recipe can easily be doubled if you're serving um, a crowd, which hopefully you are. Okay, right, I'm gonna give, give me a crostini, a Christmas you, crostini, is please. There any particular you want? I'm just gonna hand just hand it to me. There you go. I want a bite size. Perfect. <gasps> Yay. Y'all. I know. Look at how adorable! I know, you, your guests are gonna be like, you are the coolest thing since Santa. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm a little drummer boy. Mmm. <laughs> mm. 
Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Mmm, they're just right about that lemon. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. And the, the little bit of garlic to go through. And the, don't the all three flavors and the crostini, they just... All of them go together, together so together well. So and they're so pretty. They're beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh. You guys, yep. this is 100,000% food approved. Yes! So cute. <laughs> all right, on to recipe number four. Maple pepper bacon. Nothing spells a special holiday brunch better than these babies. Everything about these is addictively delicious. And that <laughs> is so true. Trust me. Oh my goodness. I mean, I make the, we made these and I'm like, Wesley, you yeah. just ate all of them. Yeah, a slab. I think I ate a, a slab. slab. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. So we have got a slab of bacon. I'm, we're going thick is good. Yes, here. you got so, some, I got some. Yes, we've got a pound of what I picked up from the grocery store is one of our favorites. It's smoked applewood thick cut bacon. So bacon. good. The thicker the better, I think. Um, and so what we're going to do is we want to get the cooking started on these before we add this amazing stuff. So we've got two, two, um, I can't wait. I know. <laughs> these are so good. Two uh, baking pans that we've lined with parchment. You could also line it with foil. And I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And I've got my racks pretty close to each other. So they'll cook evenly. Although you know how ovens are, they have hot spots. So you may want to move them around everyone. We're, let, we're going to let them go for 20 minutes. If you're going with a little thinner cut, then you could just go for 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. watch them. You'll, you'll know when to pull just them watch out. watch it. Watch them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make the little glaze that we're going to throw on with the brown sugar. This is two cups, two cups. That's two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can do light or brown. We're going uh, light. light or dark. We're going with light. And then a half a cup of maple syrup. And make sure it's pure maple syrup. Mm. This is it's the holiday, so you that's know, just mm, go with the good stuff there. if you oh, can. Give me I'm, a straw. Oh, I know it is so good. This combination of flavor of savory with the sweet. oh with the pepper. Oh, no, forget and then the about it. Punch it with the pepper. All right. Oh. I'm gonna mix this together well. We're gonna wait for that bacon to get halfway done. Yep. And then we're gonna really bring the <laughs> bring the troops home. <laughs> Oh, is there anything better than the smell that, of cooking it, bacon? It makes me, I could, I could have eaten, you know, like a giant amount of food and then I smell bacon and it's like, okay, I'll eat that. And that usually happens at our house. <laughs> you got sometimes it? Sometimes we're out walking the dogs and we like, we have neighbors who are great cooks and we smell them baking bacon. We're like, <laughs> We gotta go home and make bacon. But, uh, there you go. Okay, so now you see these are not fully cooked, um, but that's what they're on their way. That went about 20 minutes. So now we, we're, what we're gonna do is we wanna get some new parchment paper. So I'm just get a pair of tongs. This is a little, not tricky, but you know, you just. I got it. Just, um, you, if it's helpful if you have, you know, your loon, a loon, a loon that can help you out. So we're gonna transfer all of these to uh, some clean parchment paper. <laughs> Transfer that over. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. And so now, shuffling bacon. Very carefully, we're going to get rid of these, discard this. You're going to have some bacon grease on there, obviously. That's okay. You don't even have to get rid of it. You can pour it into a container if you want. And then just transfer these back on there. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to get good, y'all. Now, now the party's about to start. Yes. So here, let's. You want to leave these both here? Here, give me one. Okay. I'll Put gonna, a, give me. I'll Put me one right one. there, okay. and I will start on this bad boy. So now we are going to apply our maple. Yes. Let's give that one little, one more stir. Okay. And stir it you up. can do. I have done it both ways. You can do it. Um, get that. I like hold to. Hold on. Let me get the the sugar. The yeah. Sugar. Make sure that sugar is nicely dissolved in there. Right. 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 It sometimes settles at the bottom. But you can. I've done it before where I only do a layer on the top of, of the bacon, but you know, I think it's best if you do it on both sides. <laughs> I mean, why not? Um, and give a good liberal coating. You've made enough of this uh, maple mixture that you can really be pretty liberal with this. Guys. I know. You got. I know. I'm salivating. I am literally salivating. Oh, all right. So let's get these. Okay. These good and 
covered and then yeah. turn them over and do the other side. And do the other side. And well, I'm going to hit these with a little. Uh, oh pepper. yes. So just don't you know don't overdo it uh, because you know unless you like it really peppery, which we kind we of do. do. Um, but just remember if hit you do with some too. if you go too much, it's going to be too much pepper. Um, I'd say you see what we're doing here. Just a good handful. Um, <laughs> the sprinkle for each one. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Now let's do the other side. Let's flip them. Okay. Now <laughs> I am beside myself. This yeah, is I'm a little. I'm a little. Uh, Mapley. Yeah. Well, and a little. I'm a little maple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now this is going to go back in for another. I'm going to say another 15 to 20 minutes. You do want to keep an eye on them at this point because you want them to get nice and dark. You don't want them to burn. Yeah. Don't um, let them burn. Get them to where they're where they're. You know, th these get pretty stiff, um, which they're almost as Wesley says, they're candied. Yeah. So you got to get them candied. <laughs> um, but anyway, that that's going to take you about 15 to 20 minutes. You may need to go ahead. Um, Switch the you know switch your uh, racks around, around a little bit. Just turn them around. You got a hot spot on you your. You might have a hot spot. And um, oh my gosh! And then we're gonna eat <laughs> this bacon. <laughs> oh, I you know it smells so good, y'all. Regular bacon smells amazing. Add some maple. Oh, oh wow! Boy, 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 boy. Oh, wow. And see, they you want them nice and dark like that. Um, Woo just the this bacon was so thick that. Um, you know, sometimes if they're a little thinner, they're going to get really, really crisp and, and stiff on you. Yeah. Um, but these now, we need to, oh, wow, those look so good. So. Oh, and the longer that you let them sit, yeah. the more. It's just like regular bacon. They're, they're, they're caramelized. They're, they're yeah, they're just, yeah, they'll, they'll harden up a little bit. Wow. And um, these are so delicious. I, I, I personally, both Wesley and I think these are really, like we said, perfect for brunch. But you, they're so delectable. I mean, you could serve this at a. <laughs> they're sticking. Like at a little party or a big party. So anyway, we're gonna transfer these over to a rack and let them cool. Um, for, <clears throat> you can let them completely cool or do like what we're gonna do and wait until they're just <laughs> cool enough to eat, which is gonna be about five to ten minutes. Oh, I am just. Oh my gosh, that looks so, like jerky, like I, sweet jerky. <laughs> I know it kind of does. Isn't it just beautiful? I mean, just. Oh, Look at wow. that! Give I me mean, some. Your, your guests are just going to be, oh, oh. The, the smell is just great. And you see how it <laughs> you, just, you were going to be nice. I know. I, I'll just pick up. We're family. Um, <gasps> and you see how they kind of they stiffened up and they're oh my gosh. Look at that! It is. I'm. I'm. Heaven. You're going to have to hurry. I'm just showing all these people. <laughs> I know. Okay, shall we? Yeah. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, we're going home. We're going to see you later. <laughs> we got an activity to eat here. Wow. Mm. The sweetness, the pepper. The pepper's not overpowering. Mm. And the chewiness of the bacon. Oh, my God. Who thought you could actually take bacon and make it even better? This is one of those special occasion bacon. Yeah, put that on the just put that on the candy table. Mm-hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. y'all. <laughs> yeah. That is two hundred per two hundred thousand percent loot approved. <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow, y'all. Okay, <laughs> on to recipe number five: gingerbread cake with lemon sauce. This holiday dessert rises above the rest. Oh, and that lemon sauce brings it all together. Oh, every bite is a taste of the holiday. It <laughs> is, I'm telling you. So good. It's my favorite, it's my favorite oh. dessert. So let's make it, okay? Yes. So we are gonna start off, I'm gonna cream together a stick of softened butter. You're gonna have to rem try to remember in advance to put your butter out. That's eight put tablespoons. And then I've got three quarters a cup of, oh, my brown sugar's hardened a little bit. <laughs> Of hard brown sugar. Of hard brown sugar. It's been sitting out for a little while. And I've got my trusty stand mixer, and I'm just going to cream this together. There it goes. Um, until it gets nice and light and fluffy, and that's about, oh, four to five minutes. Yeah. 
Oh, Let's and then we have this. this. Well, we've got an eight by eight. Is this eight by eight or nine by nine? That's a nine by nine. Nine by nine. You can do eight by eight or nine by nine. We uh, got it really thoroughly buttered, and then we put some flour in there because we want to make sure that the cake comes completely away from the pan. Yeah. So it just makes it get them out of the pan easier. You don't. You can use shortening. Um, just and you don't even have to do that, but it just it makes it easier. Okay. And while that's creaming, yeah, I'm gonna put together the dry ingredients over here, which is two and a half cups. Uh, Everything good? Yeah, I'm just every now and then you might want to stop and just uh, do what I'm doing right here, which is scrape, the scrape down, down the side. Yeah. Okay, so I've got two and a half cups of flour, and then I've got these mm, these ingredients. Oh, the seasonings, this the spices. Is the spices. This is um, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground ginger, mm -hmm. and then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Gonna throw all that in there. Yeah. Then I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt. Perfect. And I'm gonna get this all mixed together so Chris can have it to throw into it with his butter. Right, we're gonna throw it in. This cake is just so that those spices. Wait, yeah, well, the lemon and the ginger. Oh, the lemon I, it's and yeah, it's, it's really ridiculous. it's just so amazing. And it's it's really simple. And Oops. what I love about this is Watch that out. you can serve it warm, which is delicious, but it's also really, really good room temperature as well. So all right, while you're making a mess over I there. I think I've got this good. Okay, I'm gonna continue. We just want this till it gets like really light and fluffy. Like I said, like four to five minutes. Okay, so now this is light and fluffy, Ooh. just the way we like wow, it. Wow, I can just eat that. I know, I know, it's <laughs> tempting, but we are gonna add even more deliciousness now. Now I'm going to, we're gonna, before you get going on your yeah. lemon sauce, let me just keep building this batter. So we've got, this is the classic um, ingredient for gingerbread. This wow. is molasses. I've got three quarters of a cup, and I need a little help to get this all out. You got some serious molasses I know, going on. This stuff is moving like molasses, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it's, it gives that depth of flavor that is just classic gingerbread. Okay, and now we're just letting you that get, get getting well, I think so, I got most yeah. of it, uh, well incorporated. Now we've got uh, two eggs, and we're, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit, and we're gonna let these this all get nicely well incorporated. Wow, you can smell that smell molasses. Smell already, I know, I know that. And then when we start adding this, this flour with yeah. those spices. We are talking classic holiday dessert. Can I start with this? Please do. All right. Or are you gonna start well, with Let that? me just say whatever. <laughs> I I'm, knew it. Well, I'll, I'll get going and then you can take over. All right, so I'm gonna make this Before, lemon. I'm gonna oh. do this and then you can take over. Right. <laughs> We're working, we're like, yeah, a couple of elves. Yes. Um, I've got a, a cup of milk of here, elves. and I, I've got the flour that Wesley prepared for yes. me. So I'm going to alternate these going in back and forth. Now, no. All right. So I'm going to make the lemon sauce. I actually kind of think it's more like a lemon syrup, which I would love to put on my pancakes. <laughs> um, but it is so good with this cake, y'all. It is amazing. All right. So I've got. I'm going to get this going. I never worked this thing, so I'm all excited it. about it. All right, so I've got a stick of butter. Come on, baby, get out of there. That's eight tablespoons. Yes. Wow. I know. <laughs> it's the holidays. Exactly. It's the holidays. And then I've got a, a half a cup of heavy cream. Get that in there. Oh. <laughs> yum, yum. Butter, yum. heavy cream. And you know what's next? What? Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> It's I've the holiday. Got, got we just keep saying that over and I over and over. <laughs> I got a cup of sugar. And then I'm gonna throw in the zest of two lemons. This is where it gets that wonderful lemon oh, taste. So good. And then also some lemon juice. That's <laughs> the <laughs> lemon juice. Lemon juice. You gotta say it just like that. And the lemon uh, juice of one lemon. Oh wow. I wanted you to save some of that lemon zest for garnish, but oh. that's okay. Oh shoot, I got a little bit. Right I know, there. we've got some more. Yeah. All right, hold on, let me get my lemon juice in here. Oh, oh. this batter. Look at this batter. Isn't that beautiful? Oh wow. Oh, that looks great. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> it's like I've never seen him do it before. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna mix this all together so that it gets nice and melted and it gets that wonderful syrup <laughs> look to it. Wow. Oh, oh. Yeah. Smell that. I know. Wow. I know. It's just incredible. That lemon and obviously lemon is 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 a not really that traditional with gingerbread. Um, Often cream cheese is, and if you would rather just like do some cream cheese stripes over the over Ooh, the cake, yeah. you can do that too. And I'll, it's it's a cream cheese icing. I have um, a recipe for that. But this lemon, but the lemon and the ginger. When you try it. I've we've had other friends who have 
eaten it and they flipped for it. It's We've had other people ridiculous. on the blog who have made it and said, uh, I'll never do it another way again. So yeah. give it a shot. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to let this go. Yeah, let that go. Oh, and how are you doing? I'm ready. Let's uh, let's transfer right. this to the pan. I'm going to just let that heat for a second. I'm going to okay. help you with this. Let me get this out of the way. Thank let me you. Get this here. Thank you. Hold on. Hold. Hold, oh, please. It's like Santa's workshop. I know it is. <laughs> I know. Santa's going to be so happy that his little elves okay, have made his get favorite this in cake. Position. There we go. Get a better, a better spatula here. There you go. Everybody can see that now from Beautiful. above. Okay. Uh, this Ooh, I gotta turn this down, Chris, or do I let it boil a little nah, bit? No, don't get don't let it get too okay. hot. Right. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Woo! And it's going to it will rise uh, some when it's baking. And it is the smell is just classic holiday perfection. Wow. And it's so tempting to want to just sit, <laughs> grab a spoon and eat all of this. But don't, because, you know, it's got a raw egg in it, and that's not healthy. Y'all, look at that. Look at my, uh, there we go. Oh, it's that getting looks, there. Look at that. Yeah. We might have to thicken it a little bit. We will, bit. we will. I, you can, if you like it really thin, um, then you can just leave it like that, because it will thicken as it continues. Yeah. I need a better spatula. Um, <laughs> or you can thicken it with a little bit of a cornstarch slurry, which is what we are about to do. If I can just get all of that. I don't want to lose any of this. No, don't. And I'm going to give it a good shakedown. Okay. Breakdown. <laughs> Hold on. No, that's all right. This will work. And it'll, it'll, it will spread. Wesley thinks if you don't give it a breakdown, shakedown, it's not going to spread <laughs> as it bakes. Um, you know, I've got clean hands here. I, I know. Two for us. <laughs> so now we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. The loon's going to open the door oh, yeah. for me. Thank Gosh, you. I'm doing a lot, y'all. I know. Everyone's in, in <laughs> shock. Okay, I'm going to clean my finger here. Oh, now wow. I've got... Um, wow, we are multitasking. Yeah. So I'm go we're going to make a little bit of a, what's called a cornstarch slurry. I've got two tablespoons of... Look at that of mess you've made. I know. Well, hey, we're baking. <laughs> uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to eyeball this, but you want probably another two tablespoons of water. And this is just... It's great. Uh, you can do this into your gravies. Um, it just it, it acts as a thickener. You don't want it to get too... Uh, too loose. If it's too watery, then it doesn't do the thickening like you want it to. Wow. Uh, you want it a little bit, little thicker than, or uh, than water, but not like paste. Okay, that's good. So now, throw it in there. We're gonna pour pour this in there, and now stir immediately. Okay. I'm stirring. <laughs> okay, so now this is going to bake for 35 minutes. That's all it takes. And then we need to let it cool for just a little bit. This sauce can be served warm or room temperature. Any way you do it, it's going to be fantastic. Oh, but look at it. It's getting thick already. I know, and it's uh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells like the bakery in the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> it is, a, oh, look at this, Wesley. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my yeah. goodness, goodness great. Oh, That just, looks great. It's just, it's in the smell. Oh. oh, man. All right, let's do the old toothpick taste test. Toothpick test. That's clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. And look at this, y'all. This getting nice and thick. Yeah, so the, as that cools, it, it, it th continues Ooh to thicken a little bit. It's just perfect. Okay, we have to let this rest for a little <laughs> bit. Um, and then we're going to flip it, and then we're going to cut it. I'm going to play with my syrup. And you're going to play with your syrup, <laughs> and then we are going to chow down. <laughs> Is that not, I mean, it just screams. It's gorgeous. Holidays. Okay. Yes. So now you'll notice it's no longer in our pan. So we're <laughs> a little crazy that way that you can leave it in the pan and serve it that way. Totally. No, no problem. Yeah. But we love to just uh, admire, you know, the work. So um, it's a, be careful because it, it, it will want to break, especially when it's still somewhat warm. Let it cool for, I'd say, at least 15 minutes. Um, and then we got another so small cutting board about the same size as this pan. Um, but before we did anything I got a sharp knife and just run it's gonna pull away from the edges you'll, you'll feel that and that, uh, that pr flour and that butter flour helped, butter helped yeah. tremendously and then I just put a, a pan over it a, I held a, 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 a cutting board I held my breath and I flipped it <laughs> and then I tapped it a little bit on top it just comes right off yeah. and then you take that um, and then I just I use cool enough to use your hand it was cool yeah. enough and then I just tipped it I used my hand to just bring it uh, 
It ready. looks great. And it looks beautiful, and the smell continues to just blow, blow me away. Yes. So we've got our nice big <laughs> Japanese knife here. Well, we're... there's ginger. Uh, <laughs> Ginger's Japanese, or yeah. Asian. <laughs> so uh, and it just slices wow. so easily. Wow, look at uh, that. So, okay, I'm gonna cut, cut just three nice slices. I'm gonna give you this nice, pretty middle slice, <laughs> because I know you like the prettiest Yay. of them all. Okay, now let's, this is always so impressive. I love, the interior of this is just yes. Look at wow, that. Wow, look at that. Bring it on over here. Oh, there you look go. Look how fluffy that is. Know, isn't that? That and is it's fluff so cinch. tender and moist and just okay. Fluff now, cinch. Fluff cinch. Okay, fluff now we're. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, go as little or as much as you want wow. with that. Wow. Yeah. Come on. And then we're gonna hit me with a little zest. Yeah. I'm gonna. This the go. zest of life. I tell you that. You guys. It is the epitome. That and, is. And the cool thing is, is this, this, like I said, you can serve at room temperature or you can serve it warm. I think it's best warm, um, but you can make this um, and then cover it uh, with foil and it'll stay warm. Yeah, I've for actually, quite a while. Uh, I've had it at room temperature. It's <laughs> usually around 11, 30. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back and I'll look, where did that cake? Oh, right, okay. Oh, here's your fork. Thank there you. you. Oh, I am so excited about this. Oh, I know, look at that. <sighs> okay, you guys, um, I just want to show you how. Look at that. Wow. Just My break. mouth just, just like did breaks away. away. I got to get water some job. Of this. this is actually the first bite that I've ever done that I haven't messed up. Look at that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? My fork. Oh, oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> 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 It's a, it's a crime that that's not served year round. What a way to end the meal, a holiday meal. I know. Ho, ho, ho. You all. <laughs> okay. I gotta go. Uh, I'm, uh, this is the lemon, the, gin, oh, everything. This is, I'm gonna say it. What? This is 300,000% Luda <laughs> It's so good, y'all. It's a Christmas miracle. I love it. You know, ginger snaps were like, my dad would always bring home ginger snaps. I'm like, why would you bring ginger snaps when I was younger? Cause I was like, ew. <laughs> Give me the sugar cookies. Yeah, yeah. But now that I'm older, I love ginger Yay! bread. You guys, you guys, you gotta make this cake. Oh. You're gonna love it. Your guests will love it. It's not hard. Oh, y'all. We wish you the happiest of holidays. Yes. Make some holiday treats. Make, make holiday Holiday treats. Make all of them. Share it with your loved ones <laughs> um, and share it with us. Yes. Tell us, you know, send us pictures. All right. We love, we you, love guys you guys. So much. Woo. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>